Dear Rectors, Agapite Nico, distinguished participants. Freedom and solidarity are key values and principles that Europe defends, be it within the Union or around the world. Defending and supporting academic freedom and scientific solidarity goes at the heart of promoting our European way of life. The current pandemic highlights probably more than ever that international scientific cooperation and solidarity are vital for our global future. To restore global public health security, we need to bridge talents beyond borders and even more importantly, beyond politics. Maybe this is not enough. To unleash the potential of research and benefits of scientific cooperation, academic freedom is also essential. Like said, one of the most famous refugee scientists of all times, Albert Einstein, it is only men who are free who create the inventions and intellectual works which, to us moderns, make life worthwhile. With this in mind, the European Commission is implementing several initiatives to support researchers and scholars at risk and protect their fundamental right to academic freedom. We mobilize Erasmus Plus and Horizon 2020 programs, in particular through the Marie Sklodowska Curie actions. And allow me to share some concrete examples. Over the last seven years, Erasmus Plus has financed around 4,300 projects supporting the integration of refugees and people with a migrant background for a total budget of around 273 million euros. And under Horizon 2020, the Science for Refugees provides support to highly skilled refugee scientists. It fosters integration into our labor market by providing guidance, mentoring and training for refugee researchers coming to Europe. The Marie Sklodowska Curie actions support the Inspire Europe project. This project that you are discussing today brings us together in a way able to support, promote and integrate researchers and risk in Europe. We are looking forward to the much needed results of this initiative, which will feed into policy making both at national and the EU level. But the Maris Klodowska Curie Action is more than a program. It is also a network of alumni, national contact points, universities, and small and medium enterprises. Being part of this scientific community contributes to the integration of researchers at risks and further enhances their career prospects. Maris Klodowska Curie Actions is one of the most international EU programs. Nearly two out of 500 researchers come from non-EU countries around the world. And looking ahead, the Commission is definitely planning to continue supporting researchers and scholars at risk in the new Horizon and Erasmus programs. We will base ourselves on the evidence and recommendations gathered through projects such as Inspire Europe. And we will do this in an inclusive manner, caring for researchers coming from other parts of the world. As we announced a few days ago in the Pact on Migration and Asylum, we will develop new talent partnerships with third countries to support the international mobility of students and researchers. This will promote the circulation of knowledge across borders in full respect of our rights and values. In this sense, Inspire Europe is a pioneering activity. By building synergies between EU, national and regional initiatives, it creates a European-wide alliance to provide guidance, opportunities and training for researchers at risk. And this is something we highly welcome 
and we are very eager to support. Dear friends, I wish you all a fruitful exchange today and look forward to the development of the INSPIRE Europe initiative.